where we begin tonight. Senator. And here we go. Hermine has already prompted high water rescues south of us in Texas. Will she bring those flooding waters to Oklahoma as well? Let's check in with Mike Morgan for the very latest. Mike. Tornado watch in effect till 1 o'clock in the morning for parts of south central and southeastern Oklahoma. have had at least three tornadoes in the region, two just southeast of downtown Dallas, and one in far south central Oklahoma. You see the tornado warnings here. Right now, east Dallas and southeastern Oklahoma, Pushmataha, Choctaw, and McCurtain counties under tornado warnings right now. Southeastern Oklahoma under that tornado watch. Flash flood watches continue right on through this evening and for a while tonight. There is more heavy rain out there and more heavy rain still coming from the remnants of Tropical Storm Hermine. The flash flood watch south central, central into all of northeastern Oklahoma. That's from right now through late tonight and then for a while tomorrow morning over in the eastern parts of our state. That's where the moisture is heading. Let's go to the storm scanner. Here's the tornado watch in effect till 1 o'clock in the morning, mainly from Ardmore eastward through all of southeastern Oklahoma. That's the tornado watch. We have a lot of little mini supercells down here which are rotating. That's why we have tornado warnings right now. North of that, it's still some heavy rain which is now coming into Oklahoma City. That's the result of the leftovers of Hermine now located down by Lawton drifting to the northeast. So a lot of tropical moisture around. So from near Ardmore over into eastern Oklahoma, the threat for tornadoes. You see the thunderstorms here all going up. Duran over toward Hugo and Broken Bow and Ida Bell up toward uh, McAllister. The threat for tornadoes does continue till one o'clock in the morning here in central Oklahoma. It's heavy rain. I think we'll get another one to two inches of rainfall on top of what you have right now because the Heavy rain is now coming in from the southern sides of the metro, lifting to the north. So, Kevin and Linda, the flash flood watch continues. We'll keep close track of this. Have a look at that forecast coming up. See you then. Thank you, Mike. And as Mike mentioned, Hermine has already swept through Texas. Two people have died as a result of the storm, and that includes a 19 year old Colleen woman <clears throat> who drowned. Her body was found in a submerged car. In Tarrant County, streets and farmland left underwater. And in Dallas, a harrowing morning commute. The water deep enough on some roads to swallow up entire vehicles. From our mobile newsroom tonight, preparations for what Hermine could bring to our state. News Channel 4's Marika Lorraine joins me now live with the very latest. Marika? Linda, as you can tell, it's really coming down now, much harder than it was earlier today. It's also colder than it was, and I think even more significantly, it's a lot windier than we've seen all day long. But no matter what this storm brings into the metro, emergency teams are ready. Not quite lightning, but this explosion on a power pole in northeast Oklahoma City certainly is ominous. It's not clear if the wet weather caused the spark, but the rains could be to blame for future flooding here in the metro. We're, we're monitoring the rivers, monitoring streams and places that normally have flooding conditions, and then obviously keeping an eye on the rainfall reports. Emergency organizations are prepared for the worst. Right now we're in our disaster warehouse. Cleaning supplies at the ready if flooding brings mud into our homes. Yes, you know, bleach, um, sponges, mops, brooms. And volunteers Aww. have the shelters on standby. Our initial focus is on making sure that people have a warm place to stay uh, and food to eat. Oklahoma's dramatic weather gives emergency teams plenty of practice at planning for disasters, though this type of rain does come with unusual challenges. Like you see behind me right now, there's not a great deal of rainfall right here, but two, three miles away it could be substantial, so we can't depend on what we have in our area, particularly for traveling across town or across the county. For all Oklahomans, the best bet is to simply stay aware of your surroundings. Probably most important safety wise that you listen to local authorities. So if you're told not to drive in a certain area, don't drive in that area. They, they provide those warnings for a reason. And another thing to keep in mind, if you find yourself in water above your ankle, turn around and find another way to go. It only takes six inches of water to sweep you off your feet. I'm Marika Lorraine reporting live News Channel 4 HD. Linda. Marika, we can see the winds picking up. By the way, your umbrella is blowing as well. Come home, get dry. Thank you. There are closings and cancellations because of the threat of flooding across Oklahoma. If you'd like to know what has been canceled, head to KFOR.com for the latest list.